Engines up and burning. Three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery. People have accused Richard Branson of being elitist because only the 1% can afford a quarter of a million dollars to take a two-hour flight into space, which includes only five minutes of weightlessness. But his argument is this is how regular aviation started with the elite taking these flights and now look at us, we're all doing it. A zero gravity flight is the only way to experience true weightlessness without having to go up into space. Branson says that he wants all the 630 future astronauts as part of their preparation to take a zero gravity flight, which is what I'm about to do to find out if weightlessness is all it's cracked up to be. We take off and it's just a normal flight. Most of the plane's like a kind of hollowed out tube with padded walls and floors. When we're up at a certain altitude, we have to lie flat on our backs and look straight up to the ceiling, because apparently if you look left or right, you could get nauseous. Basically, you feel like you're stuck to the floor, like a fly in a spider web. And then the parabolas start. So when you first become weightless, it's quite bewildering. You don't know what's going on. It's a bit like Sandra Bullock in Gravity, but instead of all this debris coming towards you, it's people from New Zealand and Brazil flying into you and nobody can control it and you're sort of being hit. And after a couple of parabolas, it starts to suddenly feel quite exciting. You feel like you can control it. And so your bewilderment turns into great excitement. I felt like I was a kind of majestic ballet dancer. Alex the cameraman at this stage was also in zero gravity and frankly was being a hazard to everybody on board because he couldn't control his camera and it was in danger of like really hurting people, like smashing into people's heads. And then after a while Alex was made to sit down for the rest of the flight. So I was excited for a couple of parabolas, thinking this is just, this is, this is great. And then my excitement turned to cockiness, where I thought I can do complicated manoeuvres. So I thought I would manoeuvre myself over to Alex. But then when I started to concentrate, suddenly I stopped feeling lost in the moment. And as soon as I started becoming aware of all of this, the nausea started. And for every other parabola, it was increasing hell. I felt cold and wet. It was just terrible. Zero gravity, like a lot of things, is better visually than in reality. Someone once told me that they'd had group sex. And I said, what was it like? And he said, it's actually much better to look at it than to actually take part in it. And I think that's the same with weightlessness. I think it's better to look at it than take part in it. So my happiest memories, actually, of the whole thing was watching things, watching the water come towards me, watching people do somersaults. So being outside of it, looking in, was better than being a participant. So it was 10% bewilderment, 10% excitement, about 5% cockiness, and then 75% nausea. So a bit like life, really.